What's going on guys? I'm back with y'all with a brand new another video. Uh, our next reaction is two girls versus I think one dude. And um yeah. Uh, without which to get time, let's get into it. Meet Abby and Brittany Hensel, who defied the odds and proved God does have a sense of humor. Abby and Brittany are conjoined twins who were born on March 7th, 1990 to the parents of Mike okay. Hensel and, I'm assuming, a demon. Now, despite the doctor Whoa. saying, Kill it! Kill it with fire! The Hensel parents decided to keep their abomination and raise it like any other freak, dressing it up, taking it to school, and giving toddlers nightmare fuel. Abby and Brittany each have their own heart, stomach, and spine, but sadly, only one cooter. So sorry, boys, that kangaroo only has one pouch. Each twin controls one arm and one leg, which makes things like walking hilarious to watch. <laughs> to make it more challenging, each twin only has feeling on their half of the body, meaning if one was asleep, the other could give a handy without them knowing. When they were born, they actually had another arm protruding from the back of their neck, but had it removed. And honestly, I wish they kept it. If you have two heads, the last thing someone's gonna say is, Whoa, you have three arms! Plus, even if it was really weak, you can still give it a little top hat and tell people, Good day, sir. Anyway, despite their physical limitations, they both can drive a car, which is impressive okay. considering they're both women. It's hard enough to stay focused on my girl backseat driving. Imagine that bitch had a hand on the wheel. So what do the twins do for work? Why, they're both teachers. Which has to be a memorable first day for those kids. Yay! Now because Aww. they can only be in one classroom at once, they're only paid one salary, which if you ask me, is totally fair. However, they did have to pay for two college tuitions, which is total What? Bullshit. I mean, they could at least give them a scholarship for relay races. Anyway, the reason That's I'm talking crazy. to you about this floating hey, piece two is because a picture went viral recently showing Abby on her wedding day. And you heard that correctly, only Abby got married because marrying two people is illegal. Although it kind of seems like a polygamy Oh, loophole. for real? Now, like most of you, when I saw this I picture, I screamed uncontrollably. But after the night terrors were done, I came up with a whole bunch of questions. So this next part of the video is where I ask every horrible question. Does she nibble on an ear while kissing? Work the balls during a blowy? Go cheek to cheek Bruh. during salad tossing? She controls one of the arms, so she gotta help out a little. How are you gonna do doggy when you keep falling over? Do they ever get jealous? Like, get your hand off my man's Oh god, that's a good Does question. Does one like butt stuff while the other's a good Christian? If he chokes one, can the other breathe? What if one of them suffers brain damage. Question. Now you got one spaghetti hand that keeps slapping food out of your bowl. At that point, would having sex be considered vape? If you marry the non pop tart, then is it still cool? Like, just ignore her grunting. I'm trying, but she keeps looking at me. Do they take birth control? Can they even have a kid? What if the ultrasound reveals three heads and a tail? Will they click the restart button? Or are they giving birth to that hell spawn? Do they touch themselves? Does that make it incest? What if one of them finger bangs and the other says no? Is that assault? Could one of them go to jail? How are you gonna sentence the innocent one? That's is a good question. Just court ordered Oculus Rift glasses? <laughs> That's How do you keep getting shanked? Wait, if they only have one cooter, then who feels the gasm? Are they both moaning? Is it that's just like a, a delayed question. effect where one starts vibrating as the other says, Here it comes. Either way, that's one lucky dude. I mean, what are the odds they both get a headache, right? Besides, it's every guy's fantasy to be with two women. Now, sure, they both have horse faces, but he's still smashing two ponies at once. Think about just tilting their heads to the side as you run your shaft through their lips. Ugh, you're hurting our necks. Shh, I'm almost finished. Even if one twin isn't <laughs> into it, I'm sure you could convince her. Think about it. Every date, kiss, and ball tickle, she's right there. I mean, most of smashing a chick is opportunity, and every day you could just throw a, so, uh, what are you doing later, girl? If that doesn't work, then just gaslight one, saying, are you gonna let your sister tell you when you're allowed to be intimate with your husband? What if one twin abuses the other? We're getting wet tonight whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good question. Bella loves it when you cry. Is one twin more dominant than the other? Like, it can't be 50-50. One of them has to cave more. My guess is Abby's the alpha. Her leg is two inches longer, meaning anytime she's pissed, all she has to do is lean a little. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, let's not forget who the superior twin is. Oh, twins. no! What if the other twin gets married? Are you just texting dibs every morning, or is it first come, first serve? Shotgun? Aw, oh, damn it. Sorry, Billy. It's the trunk for you. This would give heads or tails a whole new meaning. How do you even go on dates when you have holy shit face? Where every time someone sees you, they yell, HOLY SHIT! Be distracting, no. you know. Apparently, they vacation on cruises, which is wild because everyone's drunk on a cruise. Could you imagine always hearing? Ah! Ah! Do they just lean into it and go up to people saying, "How many heads am I holding up?" Nope, you're drunk. Give me your keys. Give me your keys, or I will curse you. What if the boat starts sinking? Okay. Do they just look at their life vest and go, "Ah, oh, shit." Can they both swim? They have four lungs. Can one of them just hold their breath while the other breathes for her? How's their esophagus work? Good question. If I blew a load in Abby's mouth, would Brittany spit it out? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I hope they never see this. <laughs> oh, what am I missing? Uh, drugs! Uh, how do drugs work? Uh, if one drops a tab, does the other see goblins? Uh, can one drink while the other drives home? Do That's both a good faces question. strain while taking a poo? 
Oh my god. You can tell my questions are getting smarter or dumber. Oh, how do I end this? Uh, let's, let's talk about some positives. Uh, school must have been easy, considering they always had someone to cheat off of. Uh, they're probably super fast at eating corn, and, uh, oh, Halloween! Halloween must be so much fun. They don't even need costumes. Just start walking on all fours and give some kid forever trauma. Ah! Ah! You ready? You know what? I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Alright, have fun being a bobblehead. <laughs> oh my oh, god! You know what you wanna- but, um, hey, at the same time, he ain't lying. There is some good questions that he said. Like, the part the part when he said, talk about drinking and driving, that is a good question. That is such a good question. While the other person is sober and driving, while the other one is drinking their ass off and shit. I wonder how that's gonna affect orgasm stuff. Like, who feels it? Like, who feels it? It is either this person or that person. That's another good question about that, but yeah that's crazy but we're gonna end it here um that is a good those are a lot of good questions for um for what he just said but um if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe for more videos like this more content like this but uh other than that i'll see you on the next video we out of here